On this edition of the Pest Geek Podcast, we're going to be discussing snap traps. Now, some people ask, what is the best snap trap? Well, it's going to depend on your preference and a lot of factors. But let's discuss first the traditional, tried and true, traditional snap trap. Now, an interesting fact about the snap trap. In engineering, the snap trap is considered what is known as irreducible complexity. It's a very simple mechanism. It's got a hammer right here with a spring that has a pressure plate that has a locking mechanism and a platform. If you remove any of these components, what you won't have is a snap trap. It won't kill anything. And it can't be made any simpler. This is what is known as irreducible complexity. Now, there are modern snap traps and there are more of a safety issue and then this traditional one. What happens with these snap traps is that you have to load it and you have to be real careful to put, you know, so you don't take your fingers out and then you have to like lock it in place and set it and make sure that in the process you don't lose a finger. Second, if you lay these like on the floor and somebody puts accidentally their toe in there, well, you're gonna lose a toe. So the, the modern snap traps are different. This has, what it, the way the snap trap works to kill a rodent is it basically breaks its neck and its spine and kills it instantly. Okay, now these more modern snap traps don't have the power of these traditional ones, but they are safer, okay? And they come in different uh, varieties. This one is from Catchmaster. And what you'll notice, see it's easy to lock, easy to load. You can see right there, it's got these little teeth and I'm trying to put it in front of the camera so you can see it. And it's got this little teeth to lock it in and catch the rodent, all right? So now you can see all of these have basically the same mechanism in the back. It's a spring with a locking mechanism, with a base, with a pressure plate. The advantage of these is when you got to get rid of the rodent, you basically, if the rodent gets caught in here, you just simply squeeze it and the rodent comes out. That's a lot of the advantages. With these, you've got to actually pull this where the rodent is, wear gloves, touch the rodent. It's kind of disgusting for a lot of people to do. Even people that are in professional pest control hate doing rodent work, okay? So we've got, this one is known as T-Rex. Uh, this one is by Bell Labs. This one is called Jaws, and this one is by JTE. Same thing, it snaps into place. This one is by Victor, and it has a traditional metal hammer. These all have a plastic hammer in the front to trap the rodent. Okay, and this one is by Ness, and you can see it's a little temperamental sometimes especially when they're old and they wear out and you've been using them a while. All of them have the same feature. Now, what this, what this does is they're controversial in some ways for a lot of people, especially people who are humanitarians, because uh, they, they, these, a lot of these traps do not instantly break the insects or the rodent's neck or do they snap it. They, some of these work through strangulation. And depending on the size of that rodent, if it's a small rodent, it will break his neck. But if it's a large rodent, it might sit there for a while while it suffocates to death and basically dies. So that's the consideration that you have when choosing a snap trap is what do you prefer and what is the customer's preference and what is gonna be available to use in your market. Pretty much all of these are available through online or any major supplier. Now these two are similar in construction. As you can see, the base 
of these two are similar in construction. Um, this one is really unique. It's different. It's got these little holes here with the little teeth. They all have in the center right here, you can see the little hole. This one actually, I'm going to snap this one shut, and you can see there's the bait hole right there. Here's your bait hole. All right, and then these are actually identical. One is made by Victor. The other one is made by Ness. If you look at the bottom, if you look at the design, same plate, same design. We don't know who made what, but these are identical uh, from the manufacturer. One is in white. The other one comes in black. Ness has a really neat story. If you go to their website, it's K-N-E-S-S. Um, and uh, manufacturing, uh, they got a really unique story. So I would check them out. But all of these are available pretty much from every supplier. They're available online from any of your online suppliers. And it's going to, like I said, you're going to have to try them out, see which one is best for you. Hey, if this video has been helpful to you, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. This has been Frank the Pest Geek with another Pest Geek demo.